Guys, happy Tuesday night. I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports. Uh, we just got done watching the uh, Brooklyn Nets um, take the pivotal game five there and uh, pretty much ruin our, our night. Uh, they uh, not only beat us in the spread, uh, they won straight up and they went over uh, by a point. So uh, wasn't a very good night for us, unfortunately. Uh, disappointed uh, in the uh, Milwaukee Bucks there, but uh, I'll talk about that in a moment. This is going to end up being a preview uh, prediction and preview video here uh, for game six. It's going to happen on Thursday, June the 17th, I believe. Yes, June 17th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN. The very early line in this contest is going to be the Brooklyn Nets, actually favored by one, one and a half points going into Wal Milwaukee here for an elimination game, and uh, the over-under uh, looks like it's going to be about 220 even right now. Of course, all that is subject to change. Uh, it'll probably fluctuate a little bit, but that's what it is to start with right now. So we'll talk about tonight first. Um, feeling pretty good for most of the game. Uh, it was looking pretty good for us here. Uh, we had Milwaukee minus four, and we had the under, and uh, both of those things were looking quite good quite good uh, until about midway through the third quarter there. Uh, then the um, Brooklyn Nets, Nets went on a huge run, got the game, cut down to, to eight, and then they went on another run and took the lead uh, there in the fourth. And um, Milwaukee just uh, fell apart on us. I just uh, was really disappointing uh, to watch those guys tonight. I thought uh, Coach Budenhoser, uh, Budenhoser did a terrible job tonight managing his timeouts. I thought he called him way too early there uh, with about, I guess, about two minutes left. He kept on calling timeout every other every other possession, and they really could have used one of those timeouts there at the very, very end. Uh, not that it would have mattered because it looked like uh, it was pretty much over uh, at that point. And unfortunately, Giannis could not make his free throws, which is not anything new. And, uh, yeah, there you have it now. Got to give KD credit. I got on him pretty hard uh, for his performance on Sunday. I thought he did a horrible job on Sunday. I, th I also think that if he would have performed anywhere near as good as he did tonight, uh, this series would probably already be over. But uh, he uh, showed up tonight. He deserves a ton of credit. Uh, almost a 50-point triple-double. Great job by him. Didn't leave, the didn't leave the floor all night long. James Harden was clearly compromised tonight. He wasn't himself not even close to himself. Uh, so, you know, a lot, of, a lot of kudos have to go out to the Brooklyn Nets. Guys have to give a lot of kudos, a lot of credit to Kevin Durant and uh, showing up in a clutch moment tonight. And, uh, you know, got to gotta give him a round of applause. So, uh, well-deserved by KD there. Uh, he played great. Uh, Milwaukee, on the other hand, they did an awful job down the stretch. Uh, you know, they had it won. They were up all night long and all they had to do was just execute offensively and this game isn't close and they just uh, kind of panicked there. I thought uh, Drew, uh, Drew, Drew Holiday um, did a, a poor job tonight uh, there at the end of the game. I thought he turned into, tried to turn it into hero ball there at the end, taking really, you know, not, not great shots, contested trying to take it upon himself, and uh, it kind of backfired on him. The ball movement stopped, and the Bucks turned into an isolation uh, nightmare uh, down the stretch tonight. So um, just unfortunate for us. It was a definitely a tough night all the way around, and we'll go over tonight because uh, we did have, like I said earlier, we had the minus four with the Milwaukee Bucks and then also the under. Uh, just, just barely didn't quite get the under, so – just one of those things. Uh, we fast forward to the next game here, try to get back up on the horse. Um, my thoughts on the next game are this. Uh, I've seen this movie before from Kevin Durant. Uh, I saw this movie when he was at the OKC Thunder. He'd come out, have a great game uh, like he did tonight. He played really, really well. And I expect him to not show up in game six uh, because that's what KD does in these situations. James Harden isn't really there. I don't expect Kyrie Irving to play. 
And uh, like I said, with James Harden not being himself, it's still on KD. I think KD doesn't get it done in game six. I think the Milwaukee Bucks learn from tonight, jump on them early, and stay uh, stay on top of them and end up w uh, winning the game going away like they probably should have tonight. And then it's going to end up being a game seven back there in, uh, in Brooklyn. So I got Milwaukee minus one and a half. Uh, like I said, I think they learned their lesson a little bit tonight. I think Giannis comes out a little bit more uh, deliberate like he was in the first half. Uh, he, he made great decisions with the ball early in the game and just didn't have it down the stretch. I think Drew, uh, Drew Holiday learns from tonight, moves the ball, and the Milwaukee Bucks as a whole get it done uh, this coming Thursday. Uh, I'll take a minus one and a half, and I'll take the over in this one. I think it'll, uh, it'll get over 220. I expect a good performance from Kevin Durant. I expect the role players to play a little bit better than they played uh, the last time they were in Milwaukee. They hit some more shots. Jeff, the addition of Jeff Green seems to really have made a huge difference for uh, the Brooklyn Nets, uh, for sure. I, I thought he made some really huge shots tonight. Uh, he seemed to be the only one that kind of had it going early when everybody else were re was really struggling shooting the ball and kind of kept him in it. And then uh, he also, alongside KD, did a great job down the stretch. So, um, you know, I expect the points to be a plenty, uh, and I expect them to go over 220 in this one. So those are my two picks for, for this next contest, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Boy, this has been a, a really tough series to call. Um, it's really thrown us for some loops. Uh, we haven't gotten one single game right in this series yet. So... I guess we're about due. So I, I would expect us to hit on this uh, game six and get ourselves back on track here. So let us know, guys, what you think in the comments. As always, thanks so much for all your support. We're going to keep on keeping on, keep on chipping away at it. Uh, I'm going to drop the NBA parlay of the day for tomorrow here in the next few minutes. And uh, good luck on that and good luck on this one. And so hopefully uh, we'll get ourselves back going. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.